When I was president of the trial lawyers, it was one of the highlights of my career. I loved being uh, the president of the organization. Uh, the camaraderie that we had amongst the lawyers on the board and on the executive board uh, was something uh, that I look back on with great fondness. Um, we were really close friends because we had been on the board for many years together. and We socialized together and we fought the issues together and we tried to make the profession a better profession together. And uh, it was really a, a unbelievable time of my life. In those days, it was the... Um, an organization that uh, taught lawyers how to practice law. The generation before us uh, always uh, had to basically learn by themselves, and the defense always had the upper hand. And as LATLA, or the trial lawyers, started to develop, it, it put an emphasis on educating lawyers how to be great trial lawyers. And uh, we learned, all of us, from the best uh, of the best. And it was the education tool uh, for uh, lawyers who practiced uh, representing plaintiffs and um, people who were less fortunate than themselves. Well, I, think, I think the trial lawyers um, would f go up to Sacramento on a routine basis and fight for... Uh, the little guy. The little guy had no voice. Uh, it wasn't sophisticated like it is today with uh, a lot of consumer groups. It was insurance companies and big business with lots of money uh, putting in anti-consumer measures and uh, a band of lawyers not well organized would fight for the little person and would take trips up to Sacramento and try to convince legislators that uh, they were taking away important rights. Um, we fought the battle of no fault. Um, no fault was a big issue in our day. Uh, and every time uh, some new legislator would get an idea, they'd try to pass a new no fault provision, and it kept us very, very busy. Uh, in those days.